Hi, I'm Tim and I'm the shop teacher. In today's video, I want to show you how I turned this acrylic pen blank and made this pen using an atlas kit from Woodcraft. Um, I want to show you some of the tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So please follow along and I hope you enjoy the video. The first step is to mark the pen blank about an eighth of an inch longer than the pen tube. I then cut it on the bandsaw, know my thumb's not in the way. And then I will drill it on the drill press. I use a square to make sure the blank is vertical, and then I secure it in a block clamp. Use the square to mark corner to corner so that you can find the center of the end of the pen blank. I'll then put a drill bit in the drill press I like to use one with a parabolic flute for doing acrylic. It seems to clear the chips better and it does not heat up as much and crack the blank. Move the bit down in small increments, removing just a bit of material at a time. Clear the chips often and make sure that there is solid wood underneath the blank so it does not blow out when it exits the bottom. Use some sandpaper to rough the outside of the pen tube. I then like to use epoxy to glue my pen tube into the blank. I have found that using epoxy gives me the best bond between the pen tube and the blank. I've used CA glue a number of times, but I've had the pen blank spin around the tube and then you have to redo it. I like to put a little bit of epoxy in the hole of the blank before I put the tube in. I'll then coat the tube with a liberal amount of epoxy and slide it in, making sure both ends have about an equal amount of overhang on either side. I use a pen reamer in the cordless drill to make each end flush with the tube. Go down until you see the shiny bit of brass, flip it over, and do the other side. Use the correct bushings for the pen kit that you're using and slide them on the mandrel. Make sure if you have multiple parts to the body, you put the bushings on in the correct order so that you end up having a successful pen. I like to use a pen turner's tail stock instead of the brass nut and a regular tail stock. You slide it right up against the bushings and you'll turn with this tail stock right up against the pen. When turning acrylic, it's very important to have sharp tools. I like to use a three-quarter inch roughing gouge for most of my turning of pen blanks. Clean the ribbons off of the pen blank often as you're turning. Get the shape that you want and bring the ends very close to the bushings. Now for the most important part of finishing, the sanding. I'll sand with dry paper from 120 all the way up to 1200. I'll then wet sand using micro mesh all the way through the pads. Lastly, I'll use a little bit of acrylic polish to polish the pen blank. Remove it from the lathe and you're ready to assemble. For assembly, I use a trigger clamp. Make sure you have the instructions, I use them on the phone, and put the pieces in in the correct order. Bring them together and gently press them into place. Take care with each step and make certain that you're doing it correctly before moving on. Yes, there are disassembly tools, but they do not work very well.
When setting up the ink cartridge, it's best to press it in in small increments and check and press it in and check because if you go too far, you have to start all over again and you usually lose your pen blank also. Once you're finished assembling it, make sure it writes and enjoy. I hope you like this video. Please like and share and comment below.